a quiet day in Buford, Georgia. The silence is only interrupted by freight trains passing through town. But things were a little different on the afternoon of September 2nd, 2021. Just after 2 p.m., this would be the site of something that happens far too often in the U.S., a railroad crossing accident. And this is the body camera video from the Gwinnett County police officer who witnessed it all. The body cam's audio begins after he gets out of his cruiser. The train's brakes are still squealing. The officer immediately makes sure everyone is all right. Was everybody out of the cab? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go down to that end and check on the uh, train conductor. Yeah. Before the impact, he was trying to prevent all this from happening, but it was too late. I was right there. I was trying to, we were trying to get the railroad stopped, but they yeah. were already too coming. Yeah. We told them, and we called them as soon as you called us. Uh -huh. But again, they were too already too coming down. Yeah. So. Luckily, no one is hurt, but this is a huge mess. And what's actually on the ground here? Well, look closely, and you'll see all kinds of Milwaukee power tools. That stuff must be tough if it can survive being hit by a train. But all joking aside, was this accident preventable? Well, there are signs all around here telling trucks to stay away. Also, this crossing has lights, gates, and a bell. So what happened? According to the motor vehicle crash report, the truck driver said he was following his GPS, which led him through the intersection here at Little Mill Road and West Shadburn Avenue. As he tried to cross the tracks, his trailer became lodged on the crossing. That trailer was split in half, and crews now had the task of getting the rails and road reopened. About 28 minutes into the body cam video, a skid steer loader arrives to start piling up all the tools. An hour later, they're dumping the debris into a stake bed truck. Then we can see a heavy wrecker on the scene removing part of the trailer. An hour and 32 minutes in, you can see a northbound intermodal train passing the crossing as the southbound that hit the truck is rolling away. Hey, I'm here uh, with the Later, the back half of the 18-wheeler is lifted into the air. Then, it's time for a whole lot of paperwork. Two days after the accident, when this video was shot, it looks like nothing happened here. You can see all the crossing's warning devices in action as this southbound passes by. According to the U.S. DOT crossing inventory form for this crossing, the typical speed range over the crossing is 50 to 60 miles per hour. A loaded freight train at those speeds would take a long time to stop. So what do you do if you encounter a problem at a railroad crossing? First of all, if there's immediate danger, get to a safe location and call 911. If you don't see or hear a train coming, find one of these blue and white signs. These are called Emergency Notification System or ENS signs. They have an 800 number you can call along with the crossings number that you can give to the operator to tell them exactly where you are. According to the Motor Vehicle Crash Report, the driver of the truck in this case was issued citations by the police. But the real story here is that everybody walked away uninjured. Obviously trains are extremely powerful machines and should be respected. You know, what the police officer's body camera recorded was truly amazing, but it should also serve as an important reminder that we all have to be careful and alert anytime we're around railroad tracks.